In this iMyMap video tutorial, you'll be taken through how you can export your map and the different formats that you can export to. All of the export options are under File and Export. This will be the same on a Mac. You simply need to select the type of export you would like and then the options that are relevant to you. With Audio Notes, Interactive Presentation, OPML, Project, you simply need to select the export option you wish and then click on Export and save the file where you wish. Using Interactive Presentation as an example, you simply need to select Export. You can then select where you wish to save your map on your computer. You may also have the option for the type of file you would like to save it as. For PDF and document, you simply need to select the template that you wish, select any of the tick boxes that you would like. You can also customise the map as you feel fit. Again, click on export. For image, you have a few different image options at the top to choose from. You can also select the width and the height of your image and check maintains aspect ratio if you wish so that your image appears the same size and then click on export. Pack and Go allows you to export your map with all of your links and folders so you can zip your map up and send it over to anybody else so they can open the map and access any of your links and folders that you've inserted onto your map. You can password protect your Pack and Go folders by clicking on password, typing in the password, and then clicking on OK. When you then send somebody else the zipped file once you've exported it, they will have to enter in the password in order to access the map. With presentation, again you have the different templates to choose from, some options to insert notes, images, or on any question slide, you can also customise it further and then you can export it. With the spreadsheet option, you have a few different templates you can choose from. Within these templates, you have the flat option or the nested option. The flat option allows you to export in two columns. The nested option is a little bit more detailed and has nested levels that calculate the total for each level. Finally, we have the SVG exporter. Here you can choose the top options and you can also choose whether or not you wish to compress your SVG. You can then click export.